50 50 cautionary tales part one something feels weird here oh this has my cognitive dissonance radar going off the charts i think i'm in this right now and don't want to face it it's not just black man it's just a male thing i'm a black woman dating a white man we live together and currently do the 50 50 thing I work 40 hours a week on my feet and he's currently looking for a new job but being supported by mom and dad so it's not that big of a rush. Meanwhile, I'm out working 10 hours a day, coming home and having to make sure the house is clean and always ask if he wants dinner to be made. He bought things for me that I needed earlier on in the relationship, we moved in unexpectedly and I didn't have a ton of money saved, a bad unstable move on my part, and now I'm paying him back to the tune of $300 a month. So I don't owe him for these things like food when we split the grocery bill. I buy my own groceries now, so I'm not adding to the grand total. Or a laundry basket when I couldn't afford one, things like that. Not silly extras, but basic necessities. I give him a third of my money every month and he uses that to pay his own bills. Car note, credit card, medical, whatever. I'm constantly tired. I don't feel feminine like I used to. I don't go out or have much fun because I can't afford it. And I'm just generally unhappy most of the time. I love him. But I'm getting to the resentment because why do I have to bust my ass all day, come home and do more and give you my money when I'm not getting much more return other than a roof over my head and companionship? We get along well, but beyond that, something feels weird here. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios. Remember to like, sub and leave a comment. And if you're enjoying the videos, please subscribe hit the bell, and check me out on realheliosblog.com. Today we're going to comment on this and more on FDS. Let's get into it. So, here's what feels weird for her. Women hate it when they're the breadwinner. Women hate it when they're the dominant one. They start to lose attraction. So, it's literally all said here, okay? So she owes him money, right? Like, she has to pay him. She doesn't like it. She wants to be paid for. She's like, I'm constantly tired. I don't feel feminine. I don't go out much. So literally, she wants to be wined and dined and taken care of. She wants to be in her husband's position. And I'm just generally unhappy most of the time. This is how women are. If you are not the breadwinner, the woman is unhappy. This is what they're thinking. I love him, but I'm getting to resentment because why do I have to bust my ass off all day, come home and do more? Indeed. This is how most men feel about their female partners, by the way. The girl provides nothing. The man has to bust his ass off and provide everything. And this, and, and then he still gets resentment, right? Because he's not some alpha uh, previous lover that she had and she has to give him money you see so this is the idea women want you to be the breadwinner they want you to to provide and they they want everything without having to do anything and it's really funny that she would have resentment when she busts her, her ass off and then comes home to having to take care of a partner more because again as i said this is how most men feel so he's not providing anything but companionship. So again, notice, there's no love here. It's just, what is he doing for me? What is he doing for me lately? What is he providing for me? Like that. And she doesn't care about the future when he finds a job that's actually good. She's not telling his side of the story, right? Where he's probably, he probably had a job that paid much more than she did. But right now he's trying to look for a job and she feels resentment because he doesn't pay like he used to, right? She's not telling his side of the story. So there you go. How to deal with men who want to be orbiters. Oh, this should be good. I don't want male friends, but that's so socially unacceptable. I work at a bar and have a very active social life. A handful of men continually reach out to me to make plans to hang out as friends. I try to put them off and say maybe sometime, but they persistently reach out with invitations over and over. Suddenly, I have so many female friends and goals. I don't have time for men pretending to be my friends as they wait around for me to become single. 
I don't want to say... Uh, sorry, I want to say I don't have time for male friends, but that feels too harsh. I don't feel as fulfilled when I make time to hang out with these types of men. I barely have enough time to make plans with my real friends. Some of these men are wonderful and kind, and I'm very happy to have them in my social community, but I just want to stay friendly acquaintances. How do I reject these offers of friendship and keep them as well-liked acquaintances? I have to see them often. I'm a climber, and I can state I don't climb with men. People find it funny, so I get away with saying it. I'm having trouble doing the same thing in my social life without being a B-word. <sighs> look at what she's doing. What she's doing by making this post is saying, look at how many male orbiters I have. I have so many male friends that want to hang out with me and do things with me. And I don't want to say no to them, but I have to because I'm so busy. But she's actually just basically um, trying to show off for validation from these, from these girls here. And look... She works at a bar, red flag, so of course she's going to get lots of male attention, and then she complains about the male attention she gets because it's not from, like, alpha males, right? It's not from men that are in the top 5%. Suddenly I have so many female friends and goals, I don't have time for men pretending to be my friend. <laughs> and it's funny because she actually tells the truth, right? Like, this is what women do. They literally keep men as friends. They're not friends. They're just resource extraction tools, which they then, they, they never sleep with them. They just use them, right? But she she has her, um, she's already being provided with all those things that normally useless males provide these, these women. So, I don't feel as fulfilled when I make time to hang out with these men. So, what she's saying is, I'm not sexually attracted to these men. I don't want to be with these men. <laughs> I barely have time to make plans with my real friends. So basically, she's struggling with having too much male attention, and she's she's trying to show off to the people here. I, I'm curious to read the comments here. Let's see. Let's see. I agree with the other person who advised you not to hang out with these guys, even if it earns you better tips. Because think of it this way. You hang out, get better tips. They harass you for more personal one-on-one -on -one time. You refuse, and they start to cause trouble, maybe even cost you your job. I don't mean to be a fear monger, just trying to explain how these guys can escalate things and advise you to think of long-term consequences versus short-term wins. I didn't even consider that she's probably just being friendly with these guys to get more tips. Right. So it's just, it's just, um, how can I convince these men to not want to ask me out, but to still give me all the tips that I want? Okay, I'm looking for a good comment. Oh, this is a good one. Nice for what? You don't even gotta lie. I don't really like being friends with men, but I wish you the best. Then watch them scramble as their egos are bruised and you peace out. I've tried having male friends, I really have, but they always expect more and try to lead it to that, even when I make it clear it ain't that. They always have an ulterior motive. I recently made a pledge to myself. If a man isn't family or I'm not interested in them, kindly get out. Actually, this is great. This is a, that, that's a nice attitude for a girl to have. She's not using the, the men. And she's absolutely right. So if a girl, if, if your girlfriend, for example, has male friends, this is true, what she's saying here. Um, they always expect more and try to lead it to that. Indeed. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, oh, okay. Here you go. Here you go. Um, okay. I'm trying to gather together the best posts on the issues of commitment, why you shouldn't give girlfriend benefits to someone who won't commit, why you should keep dating around and not internally commit when you're not actually the girlfriend. Why someone who doesn't lock you down isn't actually serious about you. Okay, so here's the key, guys. <laughs> if, you're, 
if the girl isn't giving you girlfriend benefits, you shouldn't commit to her. So this is just the reverse of all strategy, right? Like, she's clueless. Uh, basically, the beginning of the relationship is the girl's uh, probationary period. She has to prove that she has the girlfriend qualities and then you can upgrade her, right? Um, men, their strategy is to have as many women as possible. So they have to be very convinced to lock a girl down. It's not going to happen quickly for a man of high value. So this is ridiculous. It's just playing power games, right? Um and why you should keep dating around. If your girl is, is still dating around, then she's useless. She's not your girl. And so there's no point in committing. So all of this stuff just wrecks women. So it's terrible advice. Oops. <laughs> it's... Okay, here. Yeah. Let's try this one. Learn how to ruthlessly uh, block and delete. She can't even spell block properly. No one has time for men who have communication issues in friendships and relationships. I'm not good at dealing with people who can't communicate. That might seem harsh, but no, I won't show them how to be decent humans, LMAO. You're a queen. You deserve respect, and the person waiting days to respond isn't giving you respect. The people who can't talk about who they really are are not worthy of you sharing who you are. They're seeing how far they can go disrespecting you. In friendships and relationships, be brutal in your discernment. The high-value people who come into your life will show you that they are high-value. You won't need to dig for that. Stop accepting excuses like being busy and not remembering. They're absolute lies. Excuses for pride and ego to take hold in the relationship. And even if you didn't remember, LMAO, that's what reminders are for. Plus, if a person cares for you, they won't need reminders. Last but not least, if he wanted to, he would. For that matter, if anyone wants to, they will. Now go get that life you want, queen. Okay, so while it's true that um, you should cut people who are, and by cut I mean get rid of them in your life, you should get rid of people who are rude and disrespectful to you. Starting with you're a queen, you deserve respect. No, you don't deserve respect. You are entitled to to nothing respect is earned so and then she goes on to say the people who can't talk about who they are really are are not worthy of sharing who you are so what she's actually implying here is that she gets together with men who are who have a harem right they have multiple girls and they never share anything about themselves because all they're in it for is the sex and then she complains right uh that she doesn't want those men so she is attracting those men because those are the only men she's attracted to. And then she's complaining that those men don't give her what she wants. You won't need to dig for that. Well, unfortunately you will. The girl is going to need to work as hard as she can in order to win over a man of value. That's how it works. All right, let's, let's go to a different one. No, 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 no. Okay. What, what is what is this? Okay, here. Why you should never accept a 50-50 relationship. Imagine how life is that she... Imagine how life would be if she just stayed single and worked on a business alone. Sorry, she can't even write. Married four years, husband has all the money in his accounts. My husband makes over a hundred thousand. I work part time from home and make twenty thousand. And this is an equal relationship. We split the bills. He does pay a larger amount due to his wage. After bills, I'm not left with much, but can always go to my husband. That's great and all, but I'm tired of asking for money. Can I have twenty dollars for gas? I'm going to the store. I'll need some money. We have a joint account that he sends me money through. Usually, only the exact amount I need. It's not that uncommon for me to have as little as $20 in my account. Meanwhile, he has, well, I don't even know how much he has aside from a few thousand. I've asked him before if we can just pull all of our money into the joint. That happened for about six months, then it went back to him keeping most of the money. Just feels bad, man. I wish I could make more. I recently began a new business, so we'll see how that goes. I recently asked him if he can put all the money in the joint, and he said maybe. We have a great relationship otherwise. This just makes me resent him a bit. Advice? Or maybe I just needed a rant. This girl literally has 
the the absolute best possible relationship where the guy makes all the money and is managing everything but she wants more she wants access to all of his money so she can spend 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 and buy and not think about the future right because these women want to fleece you for as much as they can this is hilarious right so basically she's on this sub saying how can i convince this guy to put the money in the joint account i'm very curious what they say there's 176 comments here let's see what this suggestion is okay I never understood this whole allowance system. It's humiliating. My parents are classic boomers, like bred with a father and stay-at-home mother. My mother has literally never had to ask for money, much less beg for it. Everything my dad makes goes into joint accounts. She has several credit and debit cards linked to all accounts and can spend at her leisure and convenience. The idea of a stay-at-home mom being forced to timidly ask for an allowance, that's enraging and heartbreaking. It's pretty obvious that this isn't even a budget issue. Uh, no, he just likes the sick thrill of making his wife beg for food, clothing, and household supplies. I wonder what her idea of luxuriously treating herself is. My mother would luxuriate in solo vacations, massages, and spa treatments as occasional special treats to herself. This poor woman from the post probably feels guilty when she's spending her allowance on anything other than basic necessities. Right, so the guy has it made. He has an amazing strategy where the girl is grateful for any of the money that she's getting. And this girl at the top is like, oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this girl at the top, her mom basically just, just extracted all the value she could get from the, from the husband. And that's how it's supposed to go. What a total disaster. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was enlightening. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube. Bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com. My podcast, bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. My Patreon, patreon.com slash the Helios Blog. You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios Donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Thank you so much for all of your support.